One very common second messenger is IP3, inositol-1,4,5-triphosphate. Enzymes such as phospholipase can convert the precursor, PIP2, phosphatidyl-inositol-4,5-diphosphate, into a lipid which is cleaved from this precursor, diacylglycerol, and the second messenger, IP3, inositol-1,4,5-triphosphate. IP3 then can interact with a number of effectors throughout the cell, including calcium channel proteins on the endoplasmic reticulum. Once IP3 binds to the ER channels, calcium is released. The ER is the major intracellular store of calcium, and once calcium is released, it can bind to subsequent effectors and catalyze additional changes within the cell.